A typical day, Prue thought it was, then a murder of crows swooped down from above. To carry her brother into the woods, her all-right day is now less than good. Into the woods, Prue must now venture. Along the way, Curtis had followed her. Her parents could never learn of Mac's fate. She had to be quick and try not to be late. The way to the woods was not an easy route. The only path was dangerous and by foot. Once they were in the safety of the grove, a new world they found, the woods were a trove. What they saw next was for sure a mirage, coyote soldiers who were able to talk. They sensed the humans hiding in the ferns and took Curtis, now one of Prue's two concerns. Prue had to sneak past the guards who were dogs to meet Owl Rex, the reason she'd be gone. While Curtis had found himself in a war, the life of a soldier is not what he's for. Curtis then makes a shocking discovery. Mac shall be sacrificed to the ivy. Though Curtis was just starting to fit in, the coyote's more understanding than kin. Curtis is sentenced to rot in prison, where he and others are so far from freedom. Together they all have one thing they share, to take back what is rightfully theirs. On an eagle's back proves soared above the woods. Then they were shot down, her ribs now bruised. The bandit king took Prue for a ride, but from the coyotes they cannot hide. The bandit king met Curtis in a cage. They devised a plan to get out of this haze. On Prue the governess was playing tricks, lying and claiming this mess will be fixed. Curtis and the bandits began to break free. Swinging the cages, together they teamed. Jumping to the ladder, Curtis took flight. Once they are out, together they will fight. Into the battle went Curtis and Prue. To get to ancient groves is what they must do. There they spot the dowager governess. Early in the war, it's already a mess. Deep into battle, the irregulars went, hoping it not to be a poor event. Brendan was shot down. Prue went to his side. From all the danger, no one can hide. Prue caught up with Alexandra in time. Elder Mystic stalled to make matters prime. Brendan had healed and came to the scene. He gave Alexandra to the ivy green. Mac was spared and all was well in the wood. Prue and Kurt now fought to make the law good. All the corruption was taken out. Equality is what the new law is about. Prue returned home, but Curtis remained to be with the new family he'd gained. And all was well at the end of this part, but soon a new adventure shall start. Curtis was accustomed to his new life, but still failed to do everything right. While Prue was daydreaming of the wooden class, most of her subjects she will not pass. Curtis's sisters were left all alone, while their parents traveled far from home. As they stay in the industrial wastes, they hope and pray that their parents make haste. Rachel, Elsie, Martha got three demerits, and for them what follows is the pits. Untank sends them to the woods and back, but a quick return is what they will lack. Untank is visited by a strange man who knows of and can help with Untank's plan. This man wishes to build some kind of cog to lift the woods' political fog. Prue meets her teacher at a coffee shop with the danger Curtis is trying to stop. The teacher is not at all what she seems. In fact, Darla's the meanest of means. Darla's a human and a black fox too, who wants to bring an end to the life of Prue. But Prue is saved by Brendan and Kurt, and taken to the camp where she can't get hurt. But while she's there, she hears the crying trees. A strong connection causes her to leave. Prue and Curtis sneak off to Northwood to find Iphigenia's gone for good. Prue meets a boy who can talk to the tree, who then tells Prue of what needs to be. She must reanimate the twice-dead prince, but the strange man has started this sense. Prue and Curtis rush back to the bandits to warn them of the oncoming blitz. A ruined camp is instead what they found, but discovered a new world underground. Prue, Kurt, and Septimus awake in the dark. Their journey to get out, they must embark. But Prue's logic is not very sound, to get back up by going underground. The other, who also first made the prince, is stuck in the woods with Untank's lost kids. Elsie, Martha, Rachel, and the crew work together and each have something to do. One day, while Rachel and Elsie were out, Elsie discovered an exciting route. Because in her blood wood magic resides, she can lead her new family to the outside. Not so far away are Prue and Curtis. They find the creator in a circus. Upon seeing him, they must double their look, for he is a bear with no paws but a hook. Reluctant to help, it causes a split. Curtis leaves Prue to be a true bandit. Then, with Darla, Prue is reunited. With nature and bear, she's able to fight it. Esben decided to take Prue in, 
working alongside her is the best for him. That's not the end of the adventures of Prue. For her and her friends, the story continues.